All right, what's going on, Fishaholics? And uh, it's just about dawn this morning on the surf, and uh, we're gonna try and do some plug-in, hopefully get some bass on the pencil poppers. You know, usually early morning or dusk is usually the best time to throw some pencils. And uh, let's see what happens. You know, I don't really know where we're gonna end up, you know, by the afternoon or the end of the day, but uh, hopefully we just uh, get on some fish today. So let's hit it. See if anybody's home. These are good conditions because it's overcast and cloudy. And it's not too deep here in this spot. So because of the conditions, these fish might be pushed up in here. And then once the tide starts flooding, it could even get better or a uh, bite could materialize. There's a fish. All right, not big, but you know, a little healthy, hefty schoolie. There's a fish. Yeah, there must be sand eels here because, you know, three casts with a diamond jig already hooked up. Oh, quick release. There's another one. So I guess we're going to stay here because you never leave fish to find fish. And once this tide starts coming up, maybe we'll see some bigger fish and more fish. This right here, though, is usually whenever I'm plugging, I always stop and I'll throw something smaller because you know you never know if there's just some fish like this here. See you later, bud. Oh my gosh, instant. Yeah, there's a lot of fish here and they're probably all feeding on sand eels. Hey, buddy. Yeah, not bad. Hefty schoolie. So if you look at the tube on my diamond jig, I always like to have a longer tail like that. And uh, that'll just help the diamond jig, or this tube is at least spin a little bit more in the water and it'll look like a tail basically on this diamond jig. You know, so it'll look like the tail of a sand eel swimming like this. Wow, look at the size of that one. See you later, little squirt. All right, so my GoPro battery was dying, so I had to come back to the beach to change out the battery, and I figured I might as well work down the beach a little bit, and we're gonna hit another spot, and uh, you know, do the same thing, fish the beginning of the flood, throw mainly big plugs, pencil poppers, because I'm looking just for one slightly larger, bigger bite, you know, just like a medium fish at least, <laughs> instead of schoolies, and then maybe we'll go back to that first spot once the tide is a little bit higher, and maybe some bigger fish will be pushed up there. So, uh, we're gonna hit it for now, right here. Ooh. There's one. Oh man, it's hard not to throw the diamond because that's what's working this morning. All right, not a whole lot here. So we're gonna head back to our first spot to see if the tide will make a difference. Maybe there'll be some bigger fish. Diamond jig is the hot bait this morning.
All right guys, so we're getting out of here and we left them biting, but uh, I think we're gonna try and do some albie fishing this afternoon. And uh, it's too bad we didn't get anything, you know, like medium size. You know, I was using my nine foot Mojo Surf, my 250 stall. Uh, you know, I wish we had our lighter setup. It would have been a little bit more sporty, but maybe we got to come back here tonight and uh, there'll be some bigger fish. All right, guys, so by the way, huge shout out to Outcast Lures for sending me along some beautiful handcrafted plugs here. And uh, you guys should totally check them out. I'll put their information down in the description below. And uh, I can't wait to put these metal lip swimmers and as well as this pencil popper to the test when the time calls for it. And uh, look at these beautiful patterns. Uh, I'm loving the Wonder Bread swimmer and uh, the bunker. Yum yum in the mackerel. <laughs> looking good and we actually uh, threw uh, this mackerel pencil popper this morning but we really didn't get on a, a pencil popper bite so uh, we didn't catch anything on it but you know when the time calls for it I'm sure we'll catch some nice bass on it and uh, anyway let's uh, go see if we can find some albies hopefully we can find them from the surf if not the surf then we'll get out in the kayak and do it all right first spot here we're gonna just do some surf cast and see if we can get some albies. And uh, if not, we'll just keep moving. All right, we're gonna start off with the egg float and surf candy. And we'll just start blind casting. I did see some pops while I was parking. So there are fish here, but we just gotta get lucky maybe. And they'll pop up in front of us or we'll just blind cast them. That's crazy how we saw a fish as soon as we got here when we, when we were parking and now it's probably been like 45 minutes and we haven't seen any popping at all yesterday was the same thing we got here fish were popping fish for like 40 minutes didn't see any so i don't know i think i'm about ready to hit somewhere else Alright, just got to the end of this jetty and uh, we saw a bunch of albies busting in close and then out by those boats there was a little blitz going on. There's a lot of bait here, a lot of peanut bunker, a lot of sand eels and uh, this is always just like a decent spot. I mean you get way out here into some deep water but uh, you know, I don't really particularly like fishing from the jetty. I wanted to see if we could get albies first at that beach but we couldn't, so desperation mode, just to hopefully get a couple. Got a massive school of bait right in front of me. This tide's going out, so it's pulling all the bait right around the tip of this jetty. And these albies are just gonna lay here and wait, probably, I'm hoping, or they're gonna at least uh, stop here and feed. Oh, there they are, come on! <laughs> are you kidding, are you kidding? If I don't hook up now, I'm never gonna hook up. Come on, come on, Albies, come on. This is a joke. Right at my feet and I can't even get one. All this bait's coming around the tip of the jetty and that's why they're hanging here. Oh yeah, look at that, that's beautiful. Not even catching them is, uh, is cool enough. Just seeing them pop up in front of us is awesome. Had one strike on that cast. There's one. <laughs> Couldn't even get a bite when they're right in front of me, but could get them when they're <laughs> way out there on the surf candy. Using my 
nine foot triumph and uh, 6,000 shield just so that I can get a little bit more distance and it paid off no way there's a striper following this albi eating all the baby spitting up He is. Woo. Look at that beautiful Albi on the surf candy. See you later. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they're right here on the beach now. They push down the beach and they're in shallow. Oh, just got hit. Oh, man. Oh, dang it, man. We just missed two good opportunities when they came in real close by the surf. Two fish tried to eat my surf candy, but I set the hook too soon and then I, I set it out of the water and then uh, they went down and they were gone. And uh, I just saw three seals, but you know, I did see some algae still popping further out. So we're gonna still hang out for a little bit. There's one. Oh, on the blind cast. <laughs> I love that. Oh man. Even with the 6,000 shield, these little albies make them scream. blind cast was a good idea just because there's so much bait pushed inside here oh it's a nice one a little bit bigger than the first one I think all right it's a nice one right there on that surf candy let's get them unhooked and get them back all right All right, so that was sweet. I'll be on the blind cast on the little surf candy. That's two on the surf candy. That's been like the hot bait or fly this uh, fall. And uh, I'll put the link down in the description. You guys can check them out. Uh, I think we're gonna stick around just a little bit longer. Mike, my friend Mike just got here. See what he's gonna be doing. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys in the next one.